Evolve is back to answer more real EV comments from all over the internet. Let's do it. Amy says, not sure why these are being pushed. We are not even close to being able to charge them. Thanks for bringing this up, Amy. Uh, currently, we have over a thousand charging ports here in uh, the Houston area that are public, uh, plus the uncounted number of private charging ports at people's homes. Uh, so we do have the capacity here uh, to charge EVs currently, and we're continuing to build out the charging infrastructure here in the Houston area. So building on that, Austin, you know, people a lot of times live in apartment complexes. And in fact, we got a question from Creative with Kids who, who says, how do people who live in apartment buildings charge their vehicles? Well, that's a great question. And, uh, you know, the fact that 50% of uh, Houstonians live in apartment buildings, that is a, an issue. If you want to have an EV, you need to figure out where to charge it. Uh, when my son bought his electric vehicle three years ago and uh, recently moved out, that was one of the first things he had to do was figure out which apartments had EV charging. More and more apartment buildings are including EV charging in their plans, both existing apartment complexes and also newer ones. And uh, if, if you currently live in a apartment complex and you don't have EV charging, go talk to your landlord and uh, they may be able to provide you one. Jackal says, pretty tough to find a charger, I think. Well, Jackal, have I got news for you. EVs now have tech that'll show you where charging stations are based on your location and route. For me, in my EV, it came with an app too. And so I just use that. It shows me where I can find level one, level two, a DC fast charger, and whatever will fit my car. So when you get your next EV, just download the app and you're good to go. Ken says, are we going to have GM, Ford, Kia, Tesla charging stations? At some point, we need to have standards for the sake of customers. You're right, um, absolutely right. Automakers are increasingly working with charging providers to increase charging access and affordability. And one example is with Tesla. They have exclusively um, allowed charging access to Tesla models, but last year they launched a pilot um, supercharging network in Europe that allowed access for all EVs. So that's kind of one way the exclusive charging network has become more inclusive. Lori says, we haven't increased our electric power grids to support more electric use by the heat and air conditioning. Lori, you're certainly correct that uh, we would have an issue if we transition all cars to EVs overnight. Uh, luckily, we do not have uh, that problem. We will be increasing the capacity on the grid uh, here in the next few years. The Department of Energy has uh, initiated a building a better grid uh, plan to make sure that we do have that increased capacity and we can support the EV infrastructure here uh, in, in America. Here's a question from Jason who asks, why not focus on public transit so that everyone will see the results in my lifetime? That's a great question, Jason. And in fact, we're starting to see the transition in Houston today as Metro has plans to deploy 20 electric buses by the end of this year. That's a $22 million investment that they're making initially, but they have plans to add more buses in the coming years. In addition to the full-size electric buses that they're deploying, they're also gonna look at paratransit. We'll have 10 electric paratransit buses that will be able to help dis uh, people with disabilities take a clean, quiet ride on an electric bus. Cabal says, seems like they would want to get the infrastructure issues solved first before they start pushing for people to buy EVs. Right, and that's why the EV infrastructure is a huge priority right now. For example, the Biden administration has allotted $7.5 billion to increase charging capacity in the US. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the link below for more information on EVs.